guys and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Greg and today I'm here to look at a couple monitors that Samsung have sent over. I've got the G70, the HG70 and the H711 monitor. Now I have to admit I was a little bit skeptical when I opened these monitors up as they are all curved screens. I haven't spent a lot of time with curved screens in the past so I was a little bit kind of um, funny about it. I thought it might be just a little bit of a gimmick but upon actually using them and upon doing a little bit more um, research and just you know just getting used to it uh, I have to admit that it's, it's actually really really cool and it doesn't really take that much getting used to it at all. In fact it's perfectly natural once you sort of sit in front of it you would assume that it kind of makes the pictures look all funny and everything like that but it doesn't at all and it totally makes sense why not now when you think about it a traditional screen is flat and your eyes are looking at it from you know one point for each eye or each perspective so the middle of the screen is going to be a little bit closer to your eyes than the edges of the screen and so that's um you know that that's kind of a little bit funny for your eye to focus on and things like that. Now with a curved screen, your eye is you know, theoretically the same distance from the um, center of the screen to the edges of it. So it remains in focus better. And I mean, obviously it's gonna depend on you know, where your head is positioned and everything like that. But generally speaking, it's gonna be much closer to being in focus than otherwise. So it's one of those things that you, know, you imagine in your head that when you're looking at a curved screen it would look all funny and distorted and everything like that. But that's not the case at all, it just looks perfectly normal. And I'm happy to report that it doesn't really take any getting used to it at all. You just sit in front of it and just use it like normal. I kind of had this weird exaggerated kind of um, expectation that things would be all curvy and all bubbled and stuff like that. But that's not the case at all, it's just like using a normal screen, you can jump straight on straight away. Now these are definitely gaming screens, but I haven't seen a lot of people talking about them for gaming usage. They're kind of very fixated on um, the panel type and everything like that, but you don't really get a lot of actual impressions of how they actually are for gaming. Now as you're all aware, at Playtech here we're all about gaming, so I thought I would uh, plug in the screens, load up some games and see how we go, see how they are and um, really try to make use of the individual features that make each of these monitors really cool gaming monitors and each with their own little kind of niche of the market that they're going to really excel in. Now before we get into the gaming stuff I just want to go over some of the features on these monitors because the rest of the video might not make sense if you're not aware what some of these things are. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves let's talk about Quantum Dot Technology and AMD FreeSync. First let's talk about Quantum Dot Technology. Now this isn't exactly a scientific way of explaining quantum dot technology, this is just a sort of exaggerated demonstration that I'm showing you in order to kind of give you a feel of what you might expect with a quantum dot screen. This is an image from the upcoming game Fallout 76. Now, as you can see there's a reasonably good range of colors in here and we've got some light colors, some dark colors and some very intense shadows and things like that. Now what we've got here is a very common issue with many LCD panel screens is that all the light colors like the light grays get sort of truncated off into like a big blob of white and all the dark colors, the dark grays and things that aren't quite black all get truncated off, means cut off and just kind of turned into big black blobs. This is typical of what you would see on most standard home user PC screens and TVs and things like that. Now Quantum Dot Technology is essentially a new kind of color filter which gives us a much broader dynamic range of colors and gives us better distinction between those light grays and whites and dark grays and blacks and things like that. It gives us an overall brighter image. As you can see there's much more definition in the whites and the light grays up here in the clouds and in the shadows of the actual power armor you can see blacks and dark grays and medium grays and things like that. They just give us so much more definition. We've still got the full range of dark blacks and light, light white colors but at the same time there's just all the colors in between as well that pop out and give us a much more uh, clearer and more realistic image. Okay. Let's take a look at FreeSync. FreeSync is a technology that AMD came up with a few years ago that links together the frame output of your graphics card and the backlight of your monitor. This might sound a little bit confusing because most people never really consider the interaction between their monitors or their GPUs rather than just simply plugging them in. But the truth is, is that your graphics card is constantly outputting frames and not always at regular intervals. 
whereas your monitor on the other hand is constantly pulsing its backlight at very very precise intervals. Most of the time, even if your graphics card and monitor aren't perfectly in sync, it's actually quite hard to notice. However, it can be quite noticeable when you're gaming, especially if you're playing at a really high frame rate. Here's an animation that shows you what tearing looks like if you're not familiar with it. As you'll see, if we stop the footage, we can actually see that the screen is displaying half of one frame and half of another. This happens because the GPU isn't actually aware of when the monitor is going to pulse its backlight, so it will just keep delivering frames as soon as they're ready, even if it's out of sync. This is far less noticeable on 144Hz screens because the backlight is pulsing twice as much, but it still is there at a reduced amount. That's where FreeSync comes in. FreeSync allows your monitor and graphics card to communicate so that your monitor will always be ready to receive the frame that your GPU sends to it. They'll always be perfectly in sync and it will give you a much smoother and clearer overall image. Alright, now let's get back to business. The first monitor I'm going to look at today is the 27 inch G70. This is a curved 1800R 27 inch quantum dot display. Its resolution is 1920 by 1080 and it has 144Hz refresh rate. That makes this monitor perfect for games like Counter-Strike, Warframe, League of Legends, Dota, basically anything that doesn't have super high requirements so you can play it at a super high frame rate and get a really nice responsive feel out of it. It also has a really nice articulated stand with a wide base so it's nice and stable. We'll see a similar design again in the HG70, but I have to say that the overall physical aspects of all of these Samsung monitors has really been really quite nice and very impressive. Now the next monitor I've got here is the H711. This is a 31.5 inch curved widescreen quantum dot display. Its resolution is 2560 by 1440 and it's got 60 hertz refresh rate. Now I know what you're thinking. Earlier we were talking about tearing on 60Hz monitors and how it can be quite bad. Well, the good news is that this and all the other monitors we're looking at today has the AMD FreeSync technology we were looking at earlier. That means you'll never have to worry about tearing and you can have an awesome high resolution display on this 2560 by 1440 panel without having to crank super high refresh rates or anything like that. You'll still get a nice, clear and crisp image every single frame. Once again, I was really impressed by the stand on this monitor. It also has some really cool built-in cable management, which keeps things really tidy. Now the third and final monitor that I got to have a play with was the 27-inch HG70. Now this is another curved quantum dot uh, monitor, or QLED as uh, Samsung like to call it. Uh, it's 1440p and 144Hz, and that's why this one's my favorite. It means that you get the super high resolution, but then you also get that just amazing clarity and just uh, just responsive feeling that you get from a 144Hz monitor. So just whatever game you throw at it, it's going to look great and it's going to feel great and play great. So I really liked this monitor and was, this was by far my favorite of the three. So as you can see, each of these monitors is kind of geared towards a different kind of um, user, a different kind of gamer. I mean, obviously, no matter which one you go for, they're going to be great for gamers. So hopefully that's sort of um, shines some light on them. If you're looking at purchasing one of these Samsung monitors, hopefully you've got a clearer idea of which one will be better for you. That's all for today, guys. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you next time on Playtech TV.